It certainly seems that the Russian invasion over Ukraine caught the world as well as the markets off guard. Once Russia invaded Ukraine, the stock market basically shot down and oil prices shot up. And an argument could perhaps be made that potentially even Russia wasn't quite prepared for the amount of activity that would take place. And this is largely being reflected with the Ukrainian resistance to Russian forces, as well as the coordinated effort by NATO in order to impose economic sanctions on Russia. But one thing that is absolutely clear as it relates to this Russian invasion over Ukraine is that China is certainly watching this whole activity because they, of course, have their own sites related to various nations of Taiwan in particular. So the question really becomes is should China in the future invade into Taiwan? What would potentially be the economic impact of that? And that is what I'm going to talk about in this video. But before I get too far into it, don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and let's get into it. So I think to start with, let's start off with some data. Let's start off with some data on Taiwan and see how Taiwan potentially compares against Ukraine. So the GDP of Taiwan is expected to be about $850 billion in 2022. On a comparative basis, the expectation for Ukraine is to be right over $200 billion. In 2020, U.S. exported about $39 billion and imported $67 billion of goods and services from into Taiwan, making Taiwan the eighth or the ninth largest goods trading partner and supporting an estimated 188,000 jobs. U.S top exports to Taiwan are machinery, electrical machinery, mineral fuels, optical and medical instruments and aircrafts. Agricultural exports include soybeans, beef and beef products, wheat, poultry, and fresh fruit, thus making Taiwan a very important trading partner for the United States. On the other side, or on the import side of the equation, top imports from Taiwan include electrical and electrical components, baked goods, cereals and pasta, nursery products and cut flowers, food preparation, processing, fruit and vegetables and non-alcoholic beverages. Now if you take that and you compare that to the Ukraine, Ukraine is US's 67th largest goods trading partner compared to 8th or 9th for Taiwan depending on the study of the research that you're looking at and supports relatively only 5,000 jobs. The punchline though is Taiwan is significant, significantly more significant to US from a trading relationship perspective compared to Ukraine. One one thing that is of note here, of course, is these numbers are purely related to Ukraine's trading relationship with the United States. Obviously, we live in a global economy. Obviously, Ukraine has trading relationships with other parts of the globe as well. And of course, there's this network effect where the United States would potentially be impacted with this trading relationships with other countries as well. But it's probably not good enough. It's probably not good enough to just compare Taiwanese data to Ukrainian data. Typically, when it relates to some of these wars and incursions and this sort of thing, there are going to be a significant amount of economic sanctions that are imposed on the aggressor as well, similar to what is being imposed by NATO over Russia at this point in time. Obviously, whether it's Russia, whether it's China, these are massive, uh, massive, massive powers, and they have significant amount of military uh, prowess for all intents and purposes. And you don't necessarily want to go up against these countries without potentially igniting the flames of a potential world war. But therefore, when it comes to a lot of these incursions, it is important to not only look at Ukraine and Taiwan, but also to look at how significant the trading relationship is of Russia as well as of China as well with the United States. Now, for the purpose of this video, I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense to talk more about Russia because the impact of Russia is clearly or is pretty obvious, whether it's the prices of oil, whether it's the prices of agricultural products, all of those have skyrocketed. But what is interesting to note is neither Russia nor the Ukraine nor the Russia and Ukraine combined would make up the list of US's top trading partners in 2021. But both China and Taiwan absolutely do, coming in at third and eighth place respectively. Also, China is the biggest import trade nation in the United States. And of course, the United States has the largest trade deficit with China as well. And if you were to combine Taiwan with China, it would by far be the largest trading partner of the United States. Therefore, from an economic perspective purely, 
Should China actually invade Taiwan, and if there are economic sanctions imposed on China, it would be nothing short of absolutely catastrophic when it comes to the U.S. markets. But let's dig a little bit deeper into this. It is safe to say that the U.S. economy would be impacted, but are there perhaps some sectors that may be more impacted than others? When it comes to Taiwan, the leading imports into the United States are computer chips, as well as cell phones and digital storage devices. Outside of supporting the computer or technology sector, Taiwan is also a large exporter of plastics, optical, technical, and medical apparatuses. When it comes to semiconductors, companies such as Apple, Google, Amazon, and even Qualcomm, NVIDIA, and AMD have a significant or a heavy amount of reliance on Taiwan. The U.S. isn't even close to eliminating some of this reliance that they have on Taiwan. Granted, Intel has gone out and is investing hundreds of billions of dollars in creating facilities in the United States, but it's going to take a while for some of these factories to basically get up to scale to effectively compete with Taiwan when it comes to providing a lot of these semiconductors and supporting the technology business. And it's not just that. Some of these companies such as Apple, Amazon, Google, etc., they are large contributors to the movement of the NASDAQ as well as the S&P 500. The inability for some of these companies to effectively meet the demand of the U.S. consumer would result in a significant impact to some of these broad-based indices. As we discussed earlier, we can't just talk about Taiwan. We need to talk about China as well due to the significant amount of sanctions that would be imposed on that country. The U.S. and for that matter, lots and lots of countries have a significant amount of reliance on China, on machinery and electrical products textiles, metals, plastic, rubber, which would basically be disastrous for the rest of the stock market as well. So the real question becomes, what does this all mean? By no means am I saying that the Russian incursion over Ukraine isn't a big deal because it absolutely is. But one could easily argue that one of the main reasons why the NATO as well as the United States, which is a part of NATO, have not had a significant amount of involvement beyond economic sanctions with this whole incursion is due to the limited amount of impact that these countries basically have to the U.S. consumer. But what's arguably significantly more significant is how is China viewing this whole thing? Suffice it to say that the amount of Ukrainian resistance when it comes to Russian forces has been nothing short of absolutely amazing. And that is perhaps something that China may need to take into account over Taiwan as well. Similarly, I'm sure China is also taking some actions to potentially diversify their country base that really have trade relationships relationships to potentially remove or reduce some of the reliance that they may have on their side with some of the Western powers as well. But it is important for the West, as well as the United States in particular, to not be potentially flat-footed when it comes to a potential incursion of Taiwan or China, by China. Countries, as well as companies that have a significant amount of reliance, whether it's on China or Taiwan, need to develop contingency plans to alleviate any of these issues that they may potentially face. Further, the governments basically need to get involved as well and make sure that this potentially does not result in a Chinese incursion over Taiwan unless these countries are basically planning on taking a step back and letting the incursion effectively flow through. Currently, the U.S. and for that matter, there's several other countries in the world as well, have a significant amount of reliance on China as well as Taiwan. And an incursion of China over Taiwan would be nothing but short of catastrophic when it comes to the markets as a whole. But what are your thoughts on the matter? Include it in the comments below. And while you're at it, also subscribe, like, and ring that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.